Hey guys, Evan Bruni here for Shooting Illustrated and welcome to our latest iCarry Spotlight. Today we're focusing on the features of the hugely popular Sig Sauer P365. Why has this gun taken the concealed carry market by storm and inspired competitors? We'll find out. To really put the Sig Sauer P365 into perspective, I thought it'd be prudent to compare it to one of the benchmark guns in the CCW market, the Glock G43. I call the G43 a benchmark gun because of the ubiquitous nature of the Glock, which makes it a natural obstacle for any newcomer to the market. And successful designs have to prove themselves to a significant degree over what many consider to be a standard in the industry, size. When it first launched, SIG characterized its P365 as a micro compact. And there's no denying that this gun's small size is one of its standout features. The overall length of the gun measures just over five and three quarter inches long, four and a quarter inches high, and an inch wide. Now we'll compare that to the Glock G43, which measures just over six inches long, four and a quarter inches high, and slightly under an inch wide. Both are easily carried and easily concealed. Capacity. In combination with its size, the capacity of the P365 is what really made it stand out. There have been many small single stack nines on the market for years, but the SIG changed the market thanks to its unique stagger stack magazine design. Compared to the six rounds carried in the Glock G43, the SIG has 10 rounds on board in a flush fit magazine, providing a 67% increase in onboard capacity for what's virtually the same size gun. That's pretty impressive. What's also impressive is that SIG has expanded capacity factory-made magazines for its P365, which allows owners to up magazine capacity to 12 or even 15 rounds. OEM magazines for the Glock G43 are only available in six round capacities, though there are aftermarket magazine extensions available. Weight. Though the Glock G43 is a bit longer than the P365 and certainly has less carrying capacity, weight is where the G43 can claw back in a small piece of ground. Unloaded, the Glock weighs 17.99 ounces with an unloaded magazine, whereas the SIG weighs 18.55 ounces with an unloaded magazine. Of course, you're not gonna carry an unloaded gun, so what we really wanna know is what these guns weigh when loaded up. That's where the expanded capacity of the SIG P365 has consequences. Loaded up, the SIG weighs more than 23 ounces, while the Glock clocks in at just over 20.5 ounces. It doesn't sound like much, but ounces start to count when you're carrying a gun inside the waistband all day. It's something that you're gonna wanna keep in mind. Aftermarket support. While SIG is certainly helping out the P365 with a few factory options, there's no question that the Glock G43 owns the aftermarket. Magazine extensions abound for the 43, as well as sights, barrels, slides, enhanced controls, and trigger upgrades. However, it's worth noting that the reason these aftermarket options exist for the Glock is that many consumers aren't satisfied with the OEM components included on the 43, and they seek out upgraded options. SIG arguably includes some of these upgraded components straight from the factory, since the P365 includes X-Ray 3 night sights and has a pretty decent OEM trigger. Of course, many people just like to tinker too, and Glocks are much better suited for that. One element on the P365 that is worth noting is the accessory rail on the dust cover. This allows for the secure addition of some lights and lasers, like SIG's Foxtrot 365 weapon light. However, the size of the P365 makes it too thin to accept standard Picatinny rail attachments, so most of the lights and lasers on the market aren't gonna work. The Glock G43 doesn't have any accessory attachment provision at all. The only options for lights and lasers rely on clamps that wrap around the trigger guard. Reliability. Both the G43 and the P365 have been out for a short time, relatively speaking. Glock introduced the G43 in 2015, and SIG launched the P365 at the 2018 SHOT Show. Glock, of course, has a long track record of reliability, and the G43 continues that tradition. SIG experienced some teething issues with early production models of the P365, but as the company refined its production, those problems have disappeared. 
Of course, firearm reliability also relies on a few outside variables controlled by the shooter, such as maintenance, ammunition quality, and shooting technique. But as far as OEM reliability, both the P365 and the G43 are on equal footing. Shootability. How a gun feels and how it shoots are both highly subjective elements, so there's no way I can give you a definitive comparison on one versus the other. Objectively speaking, the SIG P365 does have a slightly wider frame, which means that there's a bit more meat at the rear of the gun, transferring recoil from each shot. This means that the SIG P365 could be conceived as having slightly less felt recoil simply because of the wider backstrap. True, too, is the fact that with more rounds on board, the P365 has more weight to counteract recoil. However, which gun shoots better is something you'll need to decide for yourself. All that's left is to get your hands on them and head to the range.